What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve linear inequalities that have fractions in them. All right, so we're gonna start with a simpler problem here first, and then we're gonna do some harder ones. That's what she said. So here we have one minus x over two is greater than four. All right, so we're trying to solve for x, right? We're trying to isolate it. So the first thing we can do is get rid of this positive one, right? We can move it to the other side. So let's subtract one from this side, and what we do to one side, we do it to the other, right? So we'll subtract one on this side also. So on this side, one minus one, that cancels out, and all we're left with is negative x over two is greater than four minus one, which is equal to three, all right? Now, the next thing we can do is get rid of this negative sign, and we can do that by multiplying this whole side by negative one, and again, what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So we'll multiply this side by negative one also. All right, so then on this side, this negative one and the negative sign right there are gonna cancel out. And we're gonna be left with simply x over two, x over two. And then on this side, we have three times negative one, which, which is equal to negative three, right? Now, whenever you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you flip the sign, all right? So here, instead of having a greater than symbol, it's gonna flip to a, a less than symbol. Okay, and now the last thing we have to do is get rid of this two, and we can do that by multiplying both sides by two, right, this side and this side. So then on this side, those cancel out, and we're simply left with x is a less than negative three times two, which is equal to negative six, right? So x is less than negative six, there's your answer. All right, now for this next one here, you can see we have x over four minus three over two is less than or equal to x over two plus one. All right, so as you can see, we have a, bu a bunch of fractions here. So the first thing you wanna do in this case is find the LCD, the least or the lowest common denominator, all right? So the LCD, the way that you find that is by simply multiplying all your different denominators together, okay? So here we're going to multiply four times two, right? So four times two. And then we're not gonna multiply by this two, right? Because we already have a two, right? We don't want duplicates. So here, four times two, that's gonna be equal to eight. So the LCD is equal to eight. So you wanna multiply all of your terms by the LCD, which again, here is eight. So let's multiply this first fraction, x over four by eight. So on top, we're gonna to have eight times x, and then we can extend our little fraction bar right there. And then on this fraction, same thing, we're gonna multiply by eight up here as well. And then on this fraction, same thing, let's multiply by eight on top, right? And then lastly, we have this one, so we're gonna multiply this one times eight, all right? Now, before multiplying anything out, first you wanna reduce your fractions, all right? So for instance, in this first fraction, we have eight x over four, right? So eight over four, we can reduce that down to two over one, okay? Same thing in this fraction, right? Here we have an eight over two. So eight over two, we can reduce that down to four over one. All right, and then on this one, again, we have eight over two. So this eight and two, again, those reduce down to four over one. And then lastly, uh, we have this one times eight, which is just equal to eight, all right? So now let's combine what we have left. So here on top, we have two times x, right? So let's write that out, two times x, and that's gonna be over one, right? But having a one in the denominator or dividing by one doesn't change what's on top, right? So we actually don't have to write the denominator in this case, okay? Two x over one is the same thing as just two x, all right? And then here we're going to subtract, right? We're gonna subtract the next one. So what do we have left on top here? We have four times three, which is equal to 12. So let's just write a 12 right there. And that's also over one, right? So again, we don't need to include or write that denominator. All right, and then this is gonna be less than or equal to, and then here on top we have four times x, right? So we have four x, and that's also over one. And then lastly, we have this positive eight, right? So we'll just put plus eight right there, all right? So as you can see, now we got rid of all the fractions, okay? So now we can just solve this regular linear inequality, all right? So again, we're trying to solve for x, so let's group all the x terms together. So this four x, let's move it to the left side, so here let's, subtract 4x, subtract 4x, right, so those cancel out. Here we get 2x minus 4x, that's equal to negative 2x, and then let's move the numbers to the right side. So this negative 12, let's get rid of it by adding 12, 
to both sides. So then on this side, those cancel out. And here on the right side, uh, eight plus 12 is equal to 20, right? So then we get a 20 over here. And then don't forget your inequality symbol, which is right here, right? It's less than or equal to, right? So less than or equal to. Okay, so again, we're trying to solve for x, we're trying to isolate it. So now we can get rid of this negative two by dividing both sides by negative two, all right? So then on this side, those cancel out and we're simply left with x and this sign is gonna flip, right? It's gonna turn into a greater than or equal to symbol because we just divided both sides by a negative number, okay? And then here we have 20 divided by negative two, which is equal to negative 10, all right? So then here, this is our final answer. X is greater than or equal to negative 10. All right, here's the last problem that we're gonna go over. So you can see we have X plus three over four is greater than or equal to X minus two over three plus one fourth, all right? So again, we have a bunch of fractions here. So the first thing we wanna do is find the LCD. All right, so let's find the LCD. So again, we just need to multiply all the different denominators together, right? So here we have a four and we have a three. Those are the only different ones. So uh, the LCD is equal to four times three, which is equal to 12, okay? So again, we're gonna take this number, the LCD, and multiply all of our fractions by it. All right, so first of all, uh, with this first one, we're gonna multiply 12 times the top, and I'll just put it in parentheses actually, so times x plus three, and that's all over four, and then this is gonna be greater than or equal to, and then let's multiply this one by the LCD 12 times x minus two on top, and that's all over three. And then lastly, we have this positive one fourth, right? So we're gonna have 12 times one all over four. Okay, great. So again, now we can reduce some things. So here you can see we have a 12 on top, four on the bottom. So 12 over four, that reduces down to three over one, right? Now on this fraction right here, we have 12 over three, and that reduces down to four over one. All right, and then lastly here we have, well, we can simplify this right now, 12 times one, that's equal to just 12. And 12 divided by four is equal to three, positive three, right? So this fraction is gonna simplify down to just three, okay? So let's write out what we have now. So on top, we're simply left with this three on top, right? So we have this three and we're multiplying it by this set of parentheses right here, this x plus three, and that's greater than or equal to, let's see, four. So we have this four times x minus two. And then again, this reduced down to just three, right? So plus three. All right, now the next thing that we can do is distribute these uh, coefficients into the set of parentheses, right? So first, uh, if, if we distribute this three into these parentheses, here we're gonna have 3x plus nine, and that's greater than or equal to this one right here, which would be 4x minus eight, and then we have plus three. All right, now we can simplify this just a little bit more. So we're gonna have 3x plus nine is greater than or equal to 4x, and then here, negative eight plus three, that simplifies down to negative five, right? So minus five. All right, great. So again, we have this much simpler linear inequality that we can solve now. So again, let's move all the x terms to one side. This time, let's move the x's to the right side. So here, let's get rid of this, let's move this 3x by subtracting 3x from both sides, right? Those cancel out. And then let's move the numbers to the left side. So here with this minus five, uh, let's add five to both sides, right? So those cancel out. So then here, all we're left with is nine plus five, which is equal to 14. And that's greater than or equal to 4x minus 3x which is equal to one X or simply just X. All right, so then our final answer here is just 14 is greater than or equal to X. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.